Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to today's learning session about industrial controls. We're going to focus our attention about pneumatic circuits and its components. So what is pneumatic? Pneumatic is actually referring to compressed air. So we are talking about the utilization of compressed air to produce actuation or to produce work. And in order to do that, we need a circuit that uh, employs a number of components as we can see in this slide. So in order for us to analyze the circuit, we're going to look at it from the bottom all the way to the top. So at the top, we have the actuation. And at the bottom, we have our air supply. This symbol represents air supply or pressure supply, which comes from the compressor. And this air is loaded with particles, dust, and moisture, which needs to be uh, filtered out and then regulated in terms of pressure and then lubricated if necessary. That's why this component is called F. RL, which is filter, regulator, lubricator. Okay, from here the air is going to pass through to the next component, which is the on-off valve or on-off switch, also called shut-off valve. So we are not going to the details of the construction of this component uh, as far as just looking at the main concept. So this is the main on and off switch. So we have a push button on the left side, push button on the right side. These push buttons are manual, meaning operated by a human uh, operator. So uh, it is already pushed on the left side. It is activated on the left side. That's why you can see the air is passing through this line. Otherwise, if the right side is activated, then air, the air is going to be channeled to here, which is blocked. And this is the off condition. Okay, so in our case, the valve is already on. So air is passing through to the next valve, which is already blocked. This valve is called directional control valve. Okay, so before proceeding to this uh, valve, I would uh, like to give a comment about the previous components which are highlighted here. These components are repetitive. Uh, they are not unique. They are rep repeated for every circuit because every circuit needs to have uh, supply, filtration, regulation, lubrication, as well as on and off valve. So this is not a very unique circuit, it is a repetitive circuit. Okay, starting from the, uh, the, the next circuit, which is uh, called DCV, or Directional Control Valve, uh, we are going to uh, see that uh, this valve is directly connected to our uh, cylinder, single acting cylinder, and this is our actuation system. Okay, so once this valve is actuated by an operator, human operator, so you could see that the line will be connected to this arrow, and from this arrow, air is going to be sent to the cylinder. So as the air reaches the cylinder, the piston is going to be actuated, and the piston is going to be forced to compress the spring inside it and extend all the way out and once the operator lets go this push, push button this spring is going to bounce back and pushes the valve back to block therefore the piston is going to have a shortage of air and then the spring inside it is going to return the piston to its home position so this is basically a short over, overview of a pneumatic circuit. I hope that this is uh, helpful and 
Uh, hope to see you in the next lesson. We are going to look at uh, direct and indirect control. Thank you and see you later.